constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. On the 8th of January in 2015, President Maitripal Sirisena was elected as the President of Sri Lanka, winning 6.2 million votes in favour of his election. In line with his third year anniversary of being elected as President of Sri Lanka, the Murugakanda Kaluganga Multipurpose Development Project was vested with the public today with the releasing of maiden waters from the reservoir. <laughs> As per tradition, eight water pots were filled with the maiden waters to be offered to the sacred Jai Sri Mahabodhi in Anuradhapura. Yeah. Acting Chinese ambassador to Sri Lanka, Pang Chung Zhu, and officials of the state-owned Sino Hydro Corporation that carried out the engineering process of the project handed over a communique to the president with the official statement of successful project conclusion. With the Murugakan the Kaluganga Multipurpose Development Project being vested with the public, the Mahavali Multipurpose Natural Project, which commenced in 1976, is now officially complete. The 450 million US dollar Murugakan the Multipurpose Project commenced on the 25th of January 2007 with the objective of supporting agricultural needs in an area spanning 81,422 hectares. Waters of the Moraga Kanda and Kaluganga reservoirs will flow to far-flung areas of the country, including the Vanni, Mathale, Anuradhapura, Trinkabali and Polonaru. The government expects to increase rice production by 109,000 tonnes, amounting to an estimated 1.67 million US dollars annually. In addition, water from the Moraga Kanda reservoir will be used to power the 25 megawatt Moraga Kanda hydroelectric station, which was also officially declared open by the President and the Prime Minister today. Later in the day, the event to mark the conclusion of the Mahavili Multipurpose National Project was held in Polgola. This event should have been held five years ago, but we couldn't do so due to the political situation. Several people suggested that we assign a name to the Murugahakanda Reservoir. I thought of one of the greatest engineers and a humanitarian we have had in 1994 during my tenure as a deputy minister who looked into the Murugahakanda project. He gave me advice on this while going into the jungle and talking about its plans. That was Dr. A.N.S. Kulasinga, and I propose this project be named after him. 